Hey everybody, it's Ruth from First and Tara. Hope everyone is well. I know we're like going toward the end of May and I'm still reading for May. We do this every month. I don't know why you guys are surprised. Anyway, throwing them down for Scorpio tonight. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do, Scorpio, with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I am just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. If you don't know what those are, there's plenty of resources online where all you have to do is plug in your name, your date of birth, time you were born if you know it, and the place, and it will tell you probably more than you ever knew about yourself. So, yeah. Including your moon rising, your Venus sign. All right. Anyway, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Zero Table. Everybody's always welcome here, and appreciate you stopping by tonight. Thanks for coming to hang out. Okay, where are we at? Do, 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 do. Oh, before I do the invocation. For your cards down, Scorpio, there's two things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I don't recommend it. Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you at all, and does not make sense or apply to your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is simply not your message. It will not be your message every time. It is a general reading. That is how tarot works. Heavenly Father, Mother with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Scorpio, why are you here? The Empress in the Upright. Who's the catch, baby? Mm-hmm. This can indicate a pregnancy. If that is not your story, don't panic. She births things. She's in it for the long haul. Something is growing. Something is changing. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. What happened? Ten of Cups reversed. Well, sometimes the greatest love stories start out with the worst tragedy ever. So, somebody's cups done got spilled. All right. happened after that? Nine of Swords. That's a lot of sleepless nights. Mm-hmm. Can also indicate overthinking. Lack of happiness and sleepless nights in the past. What's going on right now? Ten of Pentacles. That's not too shabby hanging out with that Empress there either. You're stacking it up. You're doing well. Things are getting better. You're going toward that big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the nice car. I can make words work right now. The nice car in the driveway and the pool out back and sipping lemonade on a porch, watching the grandkids play in the backyard someday. You're, you're working toward that. That's not a bad place to be in, Scorpio. Not at all. It's coming in. Four of Cups. Oh. Hmm. It's not a terrible card. It can indicate an offer. Okay. I like to think of this as the hand of Source himself, just kind of reaching down, spe specifically in this deck. Sometimes Source represents him or herself, depending on, you know, what your spiritual beliefs are. 
something coming into your life to make you an offer, an offer of love. It's not bad, but there's three cups down on the ground. These are the cups of coulda, woulda, shoulda. They might have been your coulda, woulda, shoulda. They might have been somebody else's coulda, woulda, shoulda. I'm not going to read too much more into this card until I get clarity on it. What's next? What's coming in after that? The world. The closing of a cycle. Okay. Might have something to do with whatever happened down here. There is a Mercury retrograde coming up. Like on the 28th, 29th, I mean, some people say the 28th, some people say the 29th. Do I know exactly what time retrograde starts? No. I know we are in pre-shadow. That's all I know. <clears throat> You're probably getting a lot of strange messages in your inbox from people you haven't heard from in a while. That has a tendency to happen during retrograde. I like to get off the bottom of the deck for you, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. You're working on growth to something that's actually equal. It's amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. That's awesome. We're each giving equally. And receiving equally at the same time. That's not a bad thing. It might not be what some of you are used to, but that's not a bad thing. Six of Cups. Okay. The Six of Cups on top of the Ten of Cups reversed. All right. This is definitely a soulmate connection. What do we know about soulmates? Sometimes they come into your life. To teach you something that you needed to know about yourself. And then they leave. They are not always meant to stay. And sometimes they hang out for quite a while. Quite a while is not forever. But this is somebody you've been kicking it with for a while. It's probably somebody you kicked it with in a past life. Very well could have been. Very well could have been. We'll get more clarity in a minute. Why is Nine of Swords? What's up with this Nine of Swords? Two of Wands reversed. Oh gosh. Yeah, that, that's something somebody might be losing sleep over. Do I let go and move on, or do I hang on and stay? That was a rough crossroads, wasn't it? Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Oh. It's confrontation. It's rough out there, man. That's a doggy dog world, and we're all wearing milk bone underwear, I guess. I don't know. Oof. Somebody's got a pork chop in their pants. That's rough. Yeah, you're setting it up for a bright future for yourself, but you are fighting for it at the same time. Somebody was fighting about money, possibly, too. I'm hearing that. Fighting about money. Fighting about money. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Age of Swords. Oof. 
messages, communication. We'll get more clarity in a minute. Or at the very least, a cup of honesty. Scorpio. Three of cups on top of the world. I mean, it's not terrible. Again, we'll get clarity in a second, but this isn't terrible. This is what mature adults do, actually. You can close a cycle with someone and... and maintain that friendship. And if it's somebody that you've been kicking it around, kicking it with for a while, even if it didn't work out, you can still remain friends. Either that, you're either going to maintain a friendship at the end of this, or you're going to be celebrating at the end of this, one of the two. Take whatever story fits you best, I guess. That's kind of where it splits. All right, let's get some clarity. It's a Sunday night and I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I've done 30 of the 40 at the bread and butter job and today was slightly draining and it actually kind of feels good to be able to read tonight. We'll see how I feel at the end of the day tomorrow. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Scorpio? For May 2021, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarity on the cards from the table for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. One more. Oh, wow. Try that again. They're saying no. I'm saying yes. Thank you. It's a wand. Mm. Y'all gotta make me dance around it, don't you? <laughs> That's that, you know, wolf whistles at the construction site. Hey, baby, how you doing messages? It's one of those. Scorpio, apparently somebody thinks you're hot stuff. Nice. You getting a lot of wolf whistles? You get you get some flirtation stuff going on here? Well, you know, it, it may end up being more. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it started. Four of Pentacles on top of that Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take, giving what you put in. Why the Four of Pentacles? Someone may be feeling slightly guarded. Like they're not used to that. Didn't I say that earlier? You're not used to that? Eight of Wands. And this might be happening a little bit too quickly for some of you. It's very quick communication. You're, you're guarding. You're guarding what's yours. I think some of you may have had to fight for it. All right. Ten of Cups reversed. Why the Ten of Cups reversed?
<clears throat> Why the star reversed? Oh, let it fall. Let it drop. Let it drop. <clears throat> Page of Swords. Page of Swords. You know, sometimes that page, and he's honest. He's an honest soul. Honest messages. Sometimes he tells us things we do not want to hear. And in a way that makes him wonderful. Conversation, exchange. I'm hearing the dream became a nightmare for some of you, maybe. A little too much honesty. Why the Six of Cups? Five of Cups. Flipped. Like, hit my hand and flipped. That's where it stopped. That's where I read it. Why the Five of Cups? Ace of Swords reversed. Excuse me, you're supposed to knock. I'm reading. Pardon me. So sorry about that. I had to review knocking on a door with my son. Anyway, where were we? Ace of Swords reversed. I think you hid your feelings for a while. I, I don't think you communicated that. It wasn't the dream come true. Hidden feelings, hidden sadness, sadness not communicated. And... Wow. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I think some of you just sat up and chewed on it. Six Pentacles reversed. Sitting up at night to lulling, I give and I give and I give and I don't get it back. I give and I give and I give. And I don't receive. How many nights did you sit up? I don't think I need to clarify that. Why well, is two of wands reversed here? Nine of wands. One last try. One more wand. You know, this This is one wand away from the wands of burden, right? I'll give it one last shot. Because I can't let go and move forward. There may have been a little bit of fear and anxiety about letting go and moving forward. One more try. One more time. One more shot. Scorpio, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come reversed. It's sideways. No, it's upright. It's meant to be read upright. Making a judgment call.
karma or judgment. You know, it depends on the deck right now. It in the witch's tarot karma is the judgment card. I think this was a karmic connection. I think this was a connection that was meant to teach you something about yourself. Didn't we go about, go over that earlier a few minutes ago? Some connections are meant to teach us something about ourselves and that's why soulmates come into our lives and they don't always stay. This is, it's also, the tens are endings of cycles. This happens to be number 20. It's not the end all be all. That's 21. That's the world, but pretty close. Just saying. Pretty close. We're getting there. Judgment call was made. That's oh, ten pentacles here. Lovers reversed. Why the lovers reversed? Ten of cups. disconnect two people that the feelings weren't equal one person was all in the other person wasn't so they disconnected someone found happiness that's where you're at right now somebody's not thrilled I'm not gonna lie somebody's not thrilled about this but Scorpio, sometimes you have to do what's best for you. Just saying. Why is Five of Wands here? Five of Wands here because obviously there's confrontation. <laughs> Two of Swords. It's about making a decision. A painful one. Where somebody <laughs> ends up getting hurt. More on the two of swords, please. King of Wands. Fun to be around. The life of the party. May or may not have someone in their back pocket. May or may not. Not exactly a committal kind of guy. Kind of smug. I win. A lot of... A lot of a certain kind of energy that I try to dance around coming off of this card. Sugar and spice and all things nice. I think some of you may have had a choice between what you were leaving behind and this. It can represent a fire sign, doesn't necessarily have to. But there was confrontation here. You did what was best for you. This is what is in process currently. Let's move forward. Why is the Four of Cups here? Six Wands. The return. The return. This is where Retrograde comes in.
Might be a cocky waltz back in. Might be. One more on the six of wands. Hermit reversed because they have not healed. I'm hearing, I'm going to say it because I'm hearing it, the light on their path went away. You were the light on their path. I got to throw one on that. Why am I hearing that? Why am I hearing that? Queen of Swords reversed. Oh, wow. Can represent an air sign person, person with air in their chart, and all kinds of upside down, which ugh, bad attitude about the situation. Oof. I don't know if it's your attitude problem, Scorpio, or theirs. I have a feeling it's theirs. Oof. Somebody is not thrilled. Somebody is still not thrilled. Possibility could be maybe <clears throat> Why is the page of swords here? And the Page of Swords sometimes tells us things that we don't want to hear. Up over here, I have a feeling they were more the Page of Swords. That, that dose of blunt honesty. That uh, what you had envisioned, the dream come true that you had envisioned, was not what was there. And I think you're going to be coming back with a little dose of your own honesty. Queen of Cups reversed, Four of Cups reversed. The, the the Four of Cups, the offer is right here. I don't I don't see you taking the offer. I don't see you accepting that cup again. Because the cups have done been spilled. I don't want what is in your cup. I wanted what was in your cup. I wanted what was in the ten cups that got spilled. There's only three of them left. The coulda, woulda, shoulda. Oh, look, there's three cups right here. In both of these, both of these cards, the three cups are left standing. Keep that in mind. The coulda, the woulda, the shoulda. Strength reversed is at the bottom of the deck. Holding back. possible lack of trust. Just throwing that out there. Almost a cold, emotional closing off. Why is the world here? Two of Cups. See what happens when you close cycles out? That's new. One on this two of cups, please, for Scorpio. Three of cups! Three of cups! Celebration! The three cups are still standing! The three cups that you're guarding with your life in both of these cards. 
I don't want what's in that fourth cup. Because I don't know what's in that fourth cup. I know what was in the seven that got spilled. Why is this three of cups here? You may attempt a friendship. We talked about this earlier. But I need one on the shadow side. That's the devil card in this deck. Binding connection. At best. At worst, um, potentially toxic. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know why this showed up. Ace of Pentacles. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Oh, I'm super confused now. Why would the Ace of Pentacles show up on top of a double card? of pentacles reversed. Oh, they're just going to keep coming back, aren't they? One on the king of swords reversed, please. King of swords reversed is someone who makes emotional decisions, not logical ones. High priestess. Why the high priestess? Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles can represent an earth sign person, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Just throwing that out there. High Priestess is also another card of Taurus. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. It, can, it speaks of using one's intuition. Be wary if you decide to stay friends with this person. I, I'm just throwing that out there. If this was even a little bit remotely toxic, they may hang on to that. Specifically during retrograde. Just, just be wary. Just be wary. You've just, you're doing well. Life is good. You're moving forward. Some of you may not be moving forward. I'm not judging. I, I try not to judge. It's not my journey. I'm just throwing down cards, having a good time. You wouldn't be doing it the way I'd be doing it. And some of you would totally be doing it the way I'd be doing it, which is also equally concerning, but that's neither here nor there. Just be wary. Okay, be wary if you decide to stay friends with this person. Let's get your advice, and then I'm going to call it a night because I'm tired. And I have to work another 10 tomorrow at the bread and butter job. And then hopefully on Tuesday, Monday night and Tuesday, I can finish this set before retrograde, like, kicks off. And we're out of pre-shadow. We'll see. Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. That is sound advice. Fill your cups with the right things. Work on your happiness. Okay. And once you've worked on your happiness, that offer, that spectacular offer, 
It's going to come your way. But you got to work on your happiness. The Chariot and the Knight of Cups. More sound advice. Chariot, card of cancer, speaks of maintaining a distance. It can speak of maintaining distance. And that's how I'm taking it in this little set of advice. Maintain distance with someone who keeps bringing a cup in and out of your life. Another way to put that would be um, you need to work on you and your path before you work on cups. But again, Scorpio, do what you want. It's not my journey. It's not my life. The Knight of Pentacles pops back up again with the Three of Swords reversed. <laughs> Once you've gotten through the heartbreak and you've healed... That offer will come in at just the right time. Don't go rushing into anything. The Knight of Pentacles moves very slowly. But he always wins the race. It's like the tortoise and the hare. You remember that book from when you were a kid? Keep that in mind. Strength reversed popped up again. Eight of Pentacles popped up again. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. There it is. If you know you can't trust it, don't put any effort or energy into it. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Know that you love to be blessed. Sorry for the delay. Um, we're still working on it. Still having my health and energy issues, but we're dealing with it. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. I love you to bits. Take care and let me know what happens because... This was interesting. Just saying. Bye-bye.